Hey everybody, it's Tiana, and today I'm going to be doing an organizational video for small business owners, handmade sellers like myself. And if you don't already know me, I am the owner of Winding Wick Candles on Etsy. I will leave my links down below if you're interested. But I am really into like organization and trying to get my shop productive since I am the only person who works in the shop. Um, but I was introduced to this program called Trello, and it's something that you can use on a web browser. You can download the Trello app, so you always have it with you, but it's pretty much like a productivity tool that is so customizable, and it has a lot of tools within that will help you um, get things done. So I um, am currently in a course, and it's the Fuzzy and Birch like Etsy course, and this is where I discovered Trello and she had a lot of different boards for the people who joined the course that you can use but um, so that's where I took inspiration for this board so I wanted to give credit where credit is due so I will leave her YouTube um, channel down below if you're interested in growing your Etsy shop or whatever totally not sponsored I am just I paid for the course and that's where I learned about Trello so um, yeah, so she had a lot of Trello boards and that is where I learned how to use Trello. So I created like an Etsy hub is what I call this Trello board and I am going to be showing you how I use it and providing you this board for free. So exciting you get something free out of this video. Um, yeah, so before I start, if you want to use this board, you're going to have to create an account and then I will show you how you can copy the board and all of that into your personal Trello. But let's jump into my computer and get into it. All right, before you can get started using this board, you're gonna have to copy it. So once you see the board, click the show more button, click more and click copy board. From here, enter the title you want to make your board. So we're gonna just say Etsy Hub 2.0 and then make sure you have the keep cards section checked and from there go ahead and click create hi welcome to the etsy hub trello board my name is tiana and i created this board with the small business owner in mind you don't necessarily have to sell on etsy to use this board but that's where i sell um, so that's what i named it but feel free to change the name up top but I wanted to start off just in this section here, how to use this board. <clears throat> so these are called lists and you can move them around as you please. I'm currently filming the video for this board. So here in this section, I am going to post this video so that you can refer back to it at any time. But let's start off here with the labels. So I really enjoy the using the label feature. You can find the labels here. Um, and you can use the little pencil icon to change the name label names to whatever fits your needs but right now we have done in progress and it needs attention and you can add labels to any of the cards that you create so what are cards um, these here are cards um, under the lists and you just simply click and you can type whatever you need to and and how do you add the labels to the cards as you click on your card click labels and you can just simply click and add <clears throat> you can click again to take them away um, so that is how you use the labels on this board now we're going to go to the goal planning section so I have included about uh, three goals here that you want to achieve throughout the year and each goal has a checklist. So you can um, tailor make these to whatever you want. So goal number one, I have some YouTube goals here. So you can type grow YouTube and the checklist option is here on the right hand side you can name your checklist whatever you want and if you need to add an item to your checklist you can just add it like this 
and then as you go on and complete your goal, check them off. And once you've completed your goal, you'll hit the 100% and you'll see that here, that your goal is complete. If you want to um, delete, and maybe you have only two goals, just click on the card. And to delete any card, you're just going to go to the archive and delete. And that will delete that card. So that is our yearly goals section. As an entrepreneur, we have a lot of ideas and we cannot get to them immediately. Um, so this is our brain dump section. So let's move these. Now I'll show you how to use these sections. So as you can see, I'm just moving cards. Now, this is my brain dump section. So you can add your ideas as you go. And about, you know, every so often, once a week or so, you're gonna want to um, narrow down your brain dump section and decide on what you need to do now and what needs to go on the back burner. So let's say we're going to create our website. We're going to work on our Mother's Day gift set. Um, I'm going to go to that craft show maybe later this year, so I'm going to put that in the back burner section. I'm going to work on my wholesale line sheet. My holiday line can wait till later in the year. And let's work on wholesale orders as well. So now you can see we organized our brain dump section. We put them in our to do now in our back burner section. I put the back burner section um, towards the um, you know, back of the board since we don't want really want to look at that every day, but feel free to arrange your board however you need to. So now we see what we have to do now and, and what's on the back burner. And I think that's a great way to organize your brain dump. This is the content manager. So as a small business owner, especially the solopreneurs like myself, you have to post a lot of different places and you want to keep track. So as you can see, I put Monday through Sunday and each day you can um, describe where you need to post. So Monday we need to post to Instagram. You can click on the card and put a description. We're going to post our new product to our feed and our story on Monday. On Tuesday, we're going to do our YouTube video, announce our giveaway winner. So let's say on Thursday, we need to post on Instagram again. And I just want to post a lifestyle shot this week, maybe, um, and updates. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now we know that on Thursday, we need to post to Instagram. So that is how the content manager section works. This is our product launch section and I wanted to quickly show you guys how you can copy a list. Once you fill out this section, you're, it's going to be kind of tedious to erase everything and use it again. So before you start filling it out, you can copy list, create list, and now you're going to see everything is copied. If you don't want to look at all of this bulk, you can simply just... Um, move your blank product launch list to the back so you don't have to look at it. Um, with that said, let's go into how the product launch section works. So we have our product that we're working on, our Mother's Day gift set. So we're going to click on that. And in the description, this is a great place where you can jot down any notes during your creation process. So in my case, if I'm making a spa set, I can write what kind of candle scent that I want to make the candle. Um, am I going to add a soap to this? And I can put all of that here. Now for my product photography, I need to set a date on when I want to do that. And as you can see here, I have a due date. Um, and how you do that is you can click the due dates on the right of the card. You can simply click a date that you want to get that task done. So this is the date that I've chosen. You can even um, set the time. And once you finish that, you can go ahead and click. Um, and it's up to you if you want to put a due date, but I think that's very helpful, especially for launching. Um, SEO research, you can use this card to put any tags 
for your Etsy listing. If you're not on Etsy, you can write your descriptions that you're going to use to try to rank on Google. Put all of that here. And for your social media launch, um, there's a lot of different places we want to post to get our new product out there. So you can go ahead and use this checklist. So here's how I use a checklist. I'm going to click on checklist and you can name your checklist whatever you want. You can see here I've named it launch platforms and you can tailor make this to however you need to. So maybe you don't post on Etsy updates. Let's go ahead and hit the little three dots and we can delete that. If you post on Pinterest, type that and you can add it. So that is how you customize the social media launch section. And our, I made email launch a whole different section because I know emails you, you know, take a little bit more, so you might want to type out your email before you send it. What kind of promo? Are you going to send a promo first before you send your final launch email? So you can kind of put your email sequence checklist here, um, and that's for the folks that use email. This is the back burner section. We went, went over that. This is our supply reorder section. So anytime you realize you're running low on something, you can simply add a card and maybe you're running low on, in my case, I make candles, so I could be running low on wicks. I can add that. And then as I order things, I can just simply click and done. And you can see that I've ordered that. Um, and here's our course list. So I have that here. So we have maybe you want to take an Instagram course in the future. You can use this um, description to put the price of the course, the course site, and the name of the instructor so that, you know, in the future you never forget. You're like, hey, that Instagram course looked really interesting and I think I'm ready and I have the time and money to go ahead and take it. So this is a great place to keep all of that. Once you've finished something, you can either just delete it, or if you like seeing all of your done things here and reflecting on those, you can just drag and drop them to the done section. So that is very neat. Um, that completes this Trello board. I wanted to also touch on the invites. Maybe you have multiple people that you want to um, be in the Trello board. If you have an employee or a partner, you can invite them to your Trello board, type their email address or name, and they can work on the board with you. So this is a great place that you can, um, you, you can use comments. So maybe you and um, your partner want to communicate on a certain goal to grow your YouTube channel. You two can comment back and forth um, and keep track of your tasks. I don't use that in my case since I am a one person shop, but I wanted to introduce you guys to that feature also. So that is the whole rundown of this Trello Etsy Hub board. Hope you enjoyed, thanks. Thank you guys for watching. If you wanna snag the board, just check out the description on how to get this Trello board for free. Um, but yeah, make sure to subscribe because I do have plans for more organizational videos for your small business and all of that jazz. And until next time, bye.